Welcome, Pisces Aries, to your February 17th through the 29th reading. I hope everyone is having a good month so far. Okay, today is the official day of Mercury Retrograde. Uh, hope everyone is feeling just fine. I know Leo, Virgo, and Gemini are feeling a little wishy-washy. Cancer might be as well. Okay, I'm Leo rising, so I'm feeling a little uh, kind of anxious, kind of all over the place. So let me just get these cards down. <clears throat> One second. Yes, we had a malfunction there. Okay, great old malfunction. So I was getting ready to do your reading and my speaker went out. So very strange. Okay, so I'm going to start this all over again. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start with <clears throat> the Oracle cards first. Okay, the overall of your energy is power. Fill in the power. Okay, and let's see. We have here. We have the Three of Pentacles with the Eight of Cups. Ooh, now I see where your power is coming from. Okay. So, getting right on into it. Present energy is the Queen of Wands. The Empress. Recent past is the star upside down. Recent future is four of wands and nine of wands. Okay. So over here we have in the in the present you have this energy of this Aries. Okay, which is probably your own energy. Okay. So we'll get right on to that. Looks like you're sitting in your power, as it says, right? Overall is your power. And we will figure out what the energy overall is in just a second once we get there. So we know exactly what they're talking about in your present energy, right? So you have the hermit. Lots of reflection going on here, right? Standing in your integrity, using your intuition over here. Feeling a little, um, also, looking for the light, getting into that intuition. Okay, but you're feeling a little emotionally imbalanced, so maybe that's why you had to go within. Okay, because you're not feeling 100. Okay. Okay, feeling a little unhappy. Okay. But I can see why you're unhappy. You have the Three of Pentacles upside down and the Eight of Cups. Okay, hold on one second. Back my chair up. Okay, so with this Three of Pentacles upside down, you know, we can see you're not feeling very vibrant okay just trying to figure out right now is this a mistrust situation or is this just being feeling overworked okay so as soon as we keep moving forward we'll find out okay we got the imprints over here you're feeling like you're in your prosperity so seeing that there is a lot of You know, prosperity is, you know, but it could be prosperous in love. It could be prosperity in money. You know, prosperity comes in all kinds of ways. You're feeling nurturing. I see the nurturing over here with the queen also. So, but you're also getting this ten of swords. Which is giving you a little fear and anxiety. Which we see here with the queen of, of cups upside down. So I do see this wishy-washy kind of feeling that you're going on. It's almost like you go to work, put on a happy face, come home, not feel good. Okay. But you feel in the end that no matter what, the, at the end of the day, you still feel more victorious than anything. Right. But you still have this anxiety and this trapped in fear scenario going on with the Ten of Swords. So we have to figure out why. Right. What's going on? Why are you there? You know, what's making you give, you know, what's giving you all this anxiety? Feeling very troubled. So you could be overworked and feeling troubled, 
or is it mistrust, you know, mistrusting and feeling troubled? I'm, you got the star over here upside down, so Page of Swords, Five of Cups, Seven of Cups. So you have all these potentials. Okay. Feel like you're feeling a little neglected over here. Okay. Somebody might have made you feel neglected, may have rejected you, may feel a little depression. Okay. Going into solitude, we already see that over here with the hermit, put you into solitude mode. Something was clarified, something was said, somebody was spying on you. Um, could be somebody from the past. It looks like somebody from the past was it had come and, com and maybe communicated something and made you see something, made you realize something, right? Was this person wasting your time? It makes me almost feel like this person was mis. I'm starting to think this now is mistrusting. Okay. Because now I see the confusion, the waste of time. I was dreaming about you, but then I seen you clearly. And now I'm, now that I'm going into this meditated mode and really thinking about what I'm seeing and understanding, you know, um, I may have other options or maybe they had other options. Either it gave you other options, made you want to have other options. <laughs> like, no, thanks. Thanks for nothing. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm done. I seen, I seen what I needed to see and you know, it's okay. So then you have the King of Cups. There you are. That is literally, that's like literally to me, one of my biggest Pisces cards. Okay, but no matter what, it's a water sign. And, it, you know, I see you as, yeah, um, I can see. I'm sure of it now. This is self-assured. You can see what's going on. And you're not given any of it. The red flags were thrown. I'm not working on this anymore. Bye-bye. Um, yeah. And then you took a loss, but then it made you kind of go back and reflect of what's going on. Whatever this person had done, you had seen them. Maybe you had, you were spying on them. Almost makes me think like... Maybe you weren't even really like 100% spying, but you were spying. Does that make sense? Like you've seen them at work with somebody and then you were like, hey, you know what? What are they doing with that person? I'm, you know what? I'm going to follow them. So it was like, I don't know. It just makes it feel like somebody from their past came back or somebody from your past came back and you kind of seen what they're really about, right? Maybe you were like spying, but not spying. I don't know. Like I seen you cross the street with somebody. And I just got this instinct in my head to like follow you. I don't know. It's kind of weird. And then I kind of seen the truth about this person. So then you, yeah, it's kind of weird. I mean, for others, it could be that you were literally spying, right? They got a phone call. You seen their text message and you were like, oh, you're going over there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll be watching across the street, you know, whatever. Or you're just spying in their phone watching them. I don't know. But then for others of you, I really have this thing where it's like, you're at work. You've seen them across the street with somebody or down the street. You're driving home. You see them there. And then you kind of like stop. And you're like, what are they doing? And then all of a sudden you see this other woman and this other dude there, right? And you're like, what in the world? You know, and then it made you reassess everything. And you're like, oh, they're not really taking this as serious as I thought that they were going to you know, that they were, they're not taking this relationship like I thought they were going to take it. And it put you in like this confusion and then it, it made you mistrust this person. Like, I don't trust you. I think you're using me. So then over here in the near future, you have this four of wands upside down, no passion. I'm, 
you know, it's almost like a, this is done. Sayonara, you know, Mr. King of Pentacles. I don't trust you. Okay. I seen justice and my justice is a lot better than the justice I thought. And yeah, you had doubts at first, maybe. Maybe you, even, you know, and maybe if not anything, this justice may have even caused you some insecurities. I mean, that's why you're taking your power back, right? Like, seriously? But in the near future, it's like almost like, wow, it makes me think like they're going to come back and say something. And then they're going to get you all insecure again. And you're, but then again, you're like, eh, I, I doubt this. You know, I doubt that. See, three of cups, third party situation. But it's almost like they're telling you, hey, let's go out and have some fun. And you're like, no, I seen you with another person. I'm all done. I don't need that. Four of Pentacles, but they surely got you all insecure. They got your emotions all out of whack. You're not holding on to, you know, you're not in control of your own emotions. Eight of Wands. I'm not texting you back and I'm not taking any action towards this. You have my emotions all messed up. Just like over here. Yeah, no, no quick communication. Pretty much this just, you know. What you thought was lucky. It's just slowly moving. Backsliding relationship. <clears throat> it's just, yeah. This person has another person. Okay, plain and, and simple. And you know it. And that's why you don't trust them. Nine of Wands, licking your wounds, trying to heal yourself. This emperor, this person you might be dealing with could be um, an older gentleman or woman. Okay. Uh, Aries Taurus, Taurus twice. Or this could just be yourself. Maybe, you know, you're the, considered the older person. Um, or maybe you're just not even older. Maybe you're just uh, more mature, right? Seeing yourself as very mature. Um, wise and mature. Codependency. You are a little codependent on this person. Five of Wands. Not wanting to fight because you're a little codependent, though. Three of Wands. It's almost like um, uh, you're telling this person that it's over, but you're licking your wounds. It's not really over. It's not really over. That's why it's just going in idly slow. Three of Wands not looking out. Just defending yourself and defending your rights, trying to take your power back. Waiting for a new world. Um, you know that your person is doing something behind your back. Okay. Um, if it's not a third party situation with another person who is of the same sex or opposite sex, excuse me. Or same sex, who knows? Okay. It doesn't matter. The point is, is that it could just be. As I said before, it could be just that the boys, he's, he or she is out with the boys or the girls hanging out when they're supposed to be at work and they're not at work. They're at the bar. They're doing whatever they want to do. You, you know, you kind of drive by, see them hanging out next to the nightclub, whatever it is. Okay. And then it makes you mistrust that person. Okay. But the only problem that I have here is that the loss here, I don't think for everybody that this is the loss of the relationship, it doesn't mean the relationship is totally over. It could just be the loss of mistrust. I don't trust you anymore. But that does not mean that the relationship is completely gone because I don't really see anywhere in here where this relationship is completely over. It could be for some people, okay? But in seriousness, I don't see this relationship gone. If anything, you're looking for the fresh new start, but it's going really slow, but the relationship is still backsliding, which means someone's still lying. 
someone's still not doing what they're supposed to be doing in a relationship. The relationship is not where it's supposed to be. It's not trustworthy. And you might even have this, this emperor over here. He may even be manipulative. He's telling you one thing and then out doing another thing. But, you know, it does not mean that this relationship is 100% over. The only beginning card that I see is right here, and that's just starting a new chapter to your life. I don't see it as, you know, not for all of you. Now, some of you, it is just starting a, a whole new fresh chapter without this person. Okay, but I'm saying for a lot of you, this is not over. This is just, I don't trust you. And like I said, it might not be because they're out 100% cheating. They might just be out, you know... Like I said, lying and saying where they, they're telling you that they're one place and they're not. Very immature um, behavior. Kind of like the teenager who says, yeah, mom, I'm going to go to Ricky's house. Okay, and then later you find out he's not at Ricky's house. He's at Jeffrey's house and Jeffrey lives halfway across town and you're not even supposed to be on that side of town at all. Right? And maybe you're not even supposed to be with Jeffrey at all because maybe Jeffrey is a bad influence, right? He's the one that, for some reason, you're come, your kid comes home and he's all red-eyed and tired, overtired. And you're like, um, okay, yeah, you've been drinking, you've been doing something, you know what I mean? Doing something bad, right? So, so yeah, it seems almost like for a lot of you, it could be that kind of behavior, And you're just like taking your power back because you're like, whatever. Okay, whatever. So we'll get some angel cards over here going. I mean, I swear I'm just going to name this video like, I don't trust you because you're a liar. I mean, because seriously, that's all I see here is that they're not trustworthy because they're lying to you. Absolutely, it's not even, I don't even think they're really, well, they are lying to you, but it's almost like, I don't trust you because you're sneaky. Maybe that's what it is. They're sneaky. They're sneaking around, right? Lying and sneaking. Who knows, right? Look for a sign. When you start to see things that are happening and you know that something ain't right and you know for a fact you feel something, you know something's not right. Look for the sign, right? And remain positive. So, yeah. You know, look for those signs. You know when something doesn't feel right. You know when he says something or she says something it don't feel right. My God, you know, I was even thinking this, you know, even though it's a backsliding relationship, it could be even, hey, I was just talking about teenagers and this could totally be parents with teenagers. That's crazy. That's crazy because I just thought about that. Like this could literally be somebody out there with a sneaky ch a teenager. Such teenage behavior. Okay. The animal is badger. Bring your life into balance. I forgot you can't really see back there right now. Okay. And your other animal card is be the rat. Be true to yourself and the universe will reward you. Okay. So just be true to yourself. And like it said, when you know something's up and something's wrong, don't try to ignore it. Okay. And if this is a really bad situation, which is way worse than, you know, anyone could imagine, I'm going to give you some life purpose healing cards, okay? Because some of these scenarios are way worse for people than other people could even imagine. For some it's really light, and some it's, you know, and it's just kind of like, oh, that just makes me mad, you know, when they do that. And then so for some people, it's like, you know, it really hurts. It really hurts when they do this stuff. So let's get some, you know, some... Um, healing cards out here. Time to decide. Make a decision based on your heart's true desire. Okay, so make the decision that's good for your heart. It's good for you, right? Just like it said over here with the rat, be true to yourself and the universe will reward you and remain positive. Okay, I 
Okay, I'm going to put it right here. I hope you, you can see that beautiful card. Okay, so yeah, you know. And I've got the Law of Attraction cards. I don't know if I used them last time. I cannot remember, but I've got them now. And um, I'm going to keep that positivity remaining strong. Okay, so every time that you feel like, you know, this Queen of Cups over here, which you probably are feeling right now, or you just did, okay, depending on time, um, just, you know, try to keep yourself light and hearty, you know, and when you start feeling negative, just kind of say, you know, what? I don't want to feel negative. I want to think about something else, okay? I am not here to create sameness. That is absolutely true, okay? Absolutely. There are as many different worlds as there are perceivers, beings, or individuals. You are not here to create one world where everyone is the same, wanting and getting the same. You are here to be that which you want to be while you allow all the others to be that which they want to be. Meaning if he wants to go out and lie and deceit and do things, maybe you can't control it. If you find in the end that you can't control it, you know, think about yourself and what your true heart desires for yourself. You don't deserve that. Okay? So you be who you need to be. And you might have to let them go and let them be who they want to be. Okay? So if they don't want to grow up and don't want to be the human beings that they need to be and they just want to be sly little foxes and do whatever they want to do and be immature you know then you might just have to let them be who they want to be that's probably one of the hardest advices to give okay because on the bottom of the deck of your life purpose card is let go walk away from the situation in order to resolve it okay the reason is because and sometimes those we love the most we have to let go my great grandma used to say that and I think that it is very wise to understand right we cannot always help others and we try our hardest but if they're not gonna willing to listen and want to communicate and wanting to to participate in the oneness with each other and not act like this, then sometimes maybe the best love of all is to love them from a distance, right? That is the hardest of them, okay? And that was your reading, and I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that it resonated with, you know, with many of you. And whatever didn't resonate, just throw away. And um, I will see you next time. And please like and subscribe. And peace, love, and prosperity to each and every one of you. Until next time, bye-bye.